ಶ್ವೇತ ಇನ್ ಐಶ್ವರ್ಯ ಮಿಸ್ರಿ ಡಾಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಒನ್ ದ ಸೇವಾ ಡೇ ಟು ಡೂ ಸೇವಾ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ದ ಸೇವಾ ದೇ ಕೇಮ್ ಟು ದ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಕಾಟೇಜ್ ಇನ್ ವಾಸ್ ಟಾಕಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಮೀ ಬೈ ಟೈಮ್ ದೀಪ ವಾಕ್ ಇನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸೆಡ್ ಓ ಶ್ವೇತ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ಯು ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಶ್ವೇತ ಸೆಟ್ ಐ ಎಮ್ ಸಿಟಿಂಗ್ ದೀಪ ಗುಡ್ ಸ್ಟಾಪ್ ಲಾಫ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ವಿ ಕೇಮ್ ಟು ನೋ ದಿ ಶ್ವೇತ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಮೇಕ್ಸ್ ಎ ಲಾಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಜೋಕ್ಸ್ the japanese team 50 members from japan came to our ashram long back when i just started building up this devanali ashram so they were doing some seva i think they were here for some days uh, maybe 3 days or a week and they told my japanese friend the head of the japanese uh, department language department and culture i think naokisa naokisa is now in with the mitsubishi nuclear reactor plant in japan they went and told naokisa naokisa please tell sensei rakum that we are willing to give 50 lakhs for this japanese project that time we had a small ofro build up hot and cold water bath which we have built up very nice So I said, I don't want your 50 lakhs. They were shocked. <laughs> They said, In anywhere we go, we give anything, people will just accept it. But 50 lakhs is such a big money and why he doesn't want it? I said, 50 lakhs will go in 50 seconds or 50 days. But I wanted the Japanese technology which can help my problems in my country solve it. at least bring down the pain in the society. I learned there's a lot of technology in Japan. Japan has become the richest country. And he told me, tell Sensei Rakum that we do not have technology. <laughs> we are just simple. And he said, I'll give you an example. Here we have toilets. In Japan too we have toilets. We go to the toilet, that is, uh, we use the term uh, restroom or washroom. and we come out of the washroom but when we come out of the washroom we make sure that another person should be able to use it that is our technology i was shocked that means uh, he said when you people go you keep throw the buckets here there everywhere and uh, it stinks we make sure we clean it up thoroughly put the buckets back uh, that is the time i realized india we have toilet cleaners hmm we have people to clean the toilets that is the poverty where it comes miki sam was there miki sam was uh, building up this uh, small uh, lotus pond and uh, miki sam stayed here for around a year so i used to go to miki sam early morning 6 to evening 6 we thought at break he will not stop work so whenever i go next to him and stand also you know lift his head unless and until i ask something he will just keep doing and then keep talking answering <laughs> that is real karma yoga and if you understood that one philosophy you have understood the whole world because you know that every philosophy everyone samskriti everyone culture what you have practiced thoroughly only a person who practiced thoroughly can answer such a thing can get deeply involved in karma yoga those who are not practiced are having the wavering mind that wavering mind is always deceased and hence they go to the psychologist to the doctors otherwise the body is always healthy because you know you have to take care of the body you have to go to the toilet and you have to make sure another person should be able to use it so if you are used to your body you have to make sure you thoroughly clean the body that you keep the things back you put the chair you go to the restaurant and the restaurant manager says, no 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 there is no place today and the whole restaurant is empty because previous day previous time when you went you did not put the chair back when you pull the chair even in restaurant put put the chair back into position that that makes you a real karma yogi that makes you 
aware of your power of your body. Once you know the power of your body, you make sure that every part of the body, every part of the body is used, every part of the body is exercised, and then you keep the bucket back. When you keep the strength back, to give the strength back, you have to do your work. And what is not exercise means you have to clean the house using the broom. You have to thoroughly wash it up. You have to light the lamp. You have to cook the food along with your wife and the children. You have to wash the clothes together. Take the clothes and put it in the sunlight. So you get the sunlight into your body. And that is medicinal. And then you have come to know what to move. Vegetables, you have brought it. You make sure that it is grown in the house. And then, you know, spring, summer, autumn, winter. What to grow and what to cook. And that makes it the man. Torsen's three pounds. The 18th story from the Zen Flesh, Zen Bone, Zen Flesh, Zen Bones, written by Paul Rips. A monk asked Tosen where he was weighing, when he was weighing some flax. What is Buddha? Tosen said, this flax weighs three pounds. <laughs> when somebody asks you about what is Hinduism, what is your caste? And then you, you can give a big lecture about uh, the political party of BJP or JD or Congress or Marxist Communist Party or whatever it is. But when you're working, you are working. And is that not Buddha? Is that not God? In India, we have been taught every child is a God. Hence, every mother and father and grandfather and grandmother will take the feet of the baby child and kiss and kiss. And that continued for them to do the Shastanga Namaskara because that is medicine. When you do Shastanga Namaskara prostration, you are lying flat on the stomach and stomach never bulges. There is no gastric problem. From there, they started the Urlu Seva, they roll and they get the total body exercise. When you have the total body exercised and you have a total body uh, massage, organic massage, there is no disease at all because you know when to eat, when not to eat. You, you learn through Karma Yoga, you know, you will drink water because when you work, you will sweat. When you sweat, you chew, okay, everything is chew. You chew the water and you drink. And when you are having your food, you, you understand what is soft and what is hard so that you make sure that you eat your fruits before and not after the meals so that it... It digests very fast. You don't drink water along with your meals because you know you are chewing it up. You will not unless put a lot of masala, hot things. You know what is body wants it. You do not touch the body. This flax weighs three pounds. When you are studying, your name is studying. That's why the, uh, the Russian dancer was dancing and then suddenly during the dance, everybody was shocked. He was sitting in the air for some seconds. And then when he landed, everybody rushed up to him. All the photographers, please, sir. It was shocking. Demonstration of how could you sit? We have heard only about Indian yogis floating. But you were able to jump and dance and sit in the air. That also for some seconds together. Can you demonstrate that once again? He said, no. I do not know how I said. When he was dancing, my name was dancing. I was not a dancer. <laughs> when you are doing, you are totally involved. Then who else in the world can stop you? Because you are a power. A power of a thousand men warrior. <laughs> that is meditation. That is love. Love moves. Mountains and oceans. Then there is no fear. When fear is there, it is deceased. That's the time when there is no fear. When you move oceans and mountains through your love. You see anything and everything is God. And you can answer this flux weighs three pounds when somebody asks, What is Buddha? <laughs> you are not being able, you do not allow another person to remote control you. And that fear is more to you see the truth. And you are truth. And in that truth lies God. <laughs> and when you see the God, people see you as God. It means consciousness. A living object. Not borrowed, dead object. This flax weighs three pounds. 